Hi guys, today it's a pleasure for me to share to you another game which is Mecha Morphing. This is a fully decentralized ARPG game energized by the players in its metaverse. So this is a play to earn game utilizes blockchain technology in the form of digital currency and NFTs. Players in the Mecha Morphing metaverse can earn income by engaging and contributing to the ecosystem. So this is a game that is sponsored by MH Ven which is another venture capital that we're working with so that we can guarantee that we're also choosing the right projects at least just to mitigate the risk when we want to join another game but of course this doesn't guarantee that all of the games that they will be partnering with will be launched successfully as this depends on the development team the community that is embracing the game so here you can see that they have good statistics about the community members, social following, the incubated projects, the average ROI. So this is not a constant and it depends on the landscape like for example right now the market is down and it depends on the game itself. You can also see here their portfolio, their partners who are known in this space as well. So if you want to know more about them, so you can go to mhventures.io and then you can check about this venture capital. Right now, we are witnessing the game trailer of this Mecha Morphing, which is an action role playing game. This only means that they are combining the core elements of both the action game and the role playing game. It means that since this is an ARPG, there is a story, so the decisions are predetermined and a player just obeys the quest directives until they lead to the end of the game instead of just doing the combat and they also plan to have a vr so virtual reality version of this game wherein they will be having this like metaverse feel I'm gonna use this uh, vr devices you can see it now from the screen so imagine if the team will be able to deliver this i I believe this is something that is game changing as well in terms of the play to earn and I, I'm sure that there are a lot of dev teams that are trying to come up with something like this but especially connecting in the blockchain. Of course this is how the metaverse is being defined right now for most of the organizations. So right now let's look at another trailer so this is like Marvel uh, introduction which is I, I really really like. But for this one, is, I think this is a trailer for their testnet. So they had this competition from their browser. If you will go to the Mecha Morphing and then enter the game, this is the game that you will see there. So very much like the video game where you are doing combat with other characters. At least they have the way to keep the community warm because if you're gonna go to their social media accounts like for example their telegram community is around 50,000 members already Okay guys, before we go to the pitch deck and the white papers, this is their website. On the upper right, you can see here the enter game. So this is related to the browser game that they had as a competition for the community, which is not available anymore. And then this is the market. Somehow it's also going to the, the game that they had before. And then the white paper. So this is where we can see more details about the game. And then we can see here some of the information that are important at the high level about the game. But we will go through them in the white paper and the pitch deck later on. So about the introduction, so uh, as you know guys, you've seen the trailer and this is all about the like chaos in a certain world where there are scarcity of resources 
money as well and this is causing a lot of activities about fighting with each other with the characters or the most powerful person in this world which is Sarin so you'll be able to earn tokens here by doing all of the battles forging the weapons armor doing some looting and trading items in the marketplace mining resources and completing some tasks that will be directed by the game so the vision of the developers here they are creating this metaverse where the, the more you become active here or stay in the game you'll be able to co-create with them and create value for yourself and for the community so we will not be reading all of this as I don't I don't want you to get bored but you can also read that guys it's creatively written down by the dev team age of heroes so it means that there will be emerging characters and heroes here that I've shown in the website earlier so this heroes or characters have weapons and mecha this is the basis of the like drops and some other opportunities how you can earn through your NFT so the goal here is to co-create within the metaverse like I mentioned earlier first your also creating the gameplay within the metaverse while you are getting entertained within the game so how you can earn here is that you will have a weapon nft i believe you can also forge and then the mecha is defining like what will be the drops that you can get within the game and it depends on your on your performance and the stats in the battle and depending on your character as well same with other nft games there is a PVE here there's stamina points that is dictating whether you can last within the game there are also different levels as mentioned this is an ARPG where you're really going through quests and fighting a different monsters in in every level there are different monsters and different waves the, the rewards or the potential outcomes or drops out of the games are character experience the tokens the materials and the NFT same with the other games that we've tried so here they have this skill based player and versus player so you can challenge the opponents to a duel probably like the run online or other games that you played before where you can test your skills with other players and then what is good here is you can also bet in these events like you can watch as a spectator and see like who will win in this match and then percentage of the pot will be the price for the winning warriors so pvp information all our characters in the pvp must have all mecha slots supports 1v1 3 versus 3 it does not consume your pve stamina but different modes of pvp also have their own limits and then there are also arena tournament here you have to place probably this is a fee so the mmc token later on we will discuss more about the tokens within this game Alright, so here in the loot mode, if you are owning a land, then you'll be able to collect some resources that you can also use to forge or sell to the marketplace. So since this is a metaverse, so you'll be able to like buy a certain area for you and your player. So they, they are also incorporating here that there is also a risk just to make it like competitive, encourage you to really stay within the game. It is because some other players can team up and loot from the other landowners. These attackers, if they did not win in looting, then they will be also be paying inconvenience fee to the landowner. With regards to the forging system, this requires mecha drawing materials, cost of forging in MMC token and the time that you need to wait when doing the process. And here are the more details about the forging that you can also check later on guys if you want to know more about it. So here since they are creating a platform ARPG, they are also giving this bounty system to the players so you can uh, write specific tasks within the game and then if other players will be able to take this task then they'll be able to get price based on what will be di dictated and this is why they are seeing that the opportunities are endless in this game and as usual as mentioned with the other NFT games right so they will be having this trading market course this will provide the opportunity for the players to sell their resources help the other players to find their resources in forging their weapons same with some other games there will be incorporating the guild system but here in this game this plays important role in mecha morphing because they believe that players that have the same goals and interests can be in the same guild system and they'll be able to help in achieving the vision of the game 
So the color of the mecha defines the ranking system. So the highest is gold, the next one is purple, blue, green, and white. So actually this is already detailed and we can just uh, go through that later on if we'll be joining the game so guys the mecha refers to the slots per character which are related to the head the chest the waist the shoulder the arm hand leg knee and the foot depending on what you will be wearing in the game of course this will evolve or improve the stats or the level of your character the advantage in doing the battles so the weapon is a mecha nft so very much like mecha slots this will allow the character to have specialized weapons to optimize the specific character classes but they will be wearable for all of the characters and you can get this by buying the mystery weapon boxes you can get some drops from the battles tournaments loots events or buying them from the market so there will be characters class setting so there will be melee uh, range attack tank assist stance and superhero and as mentioned earlier so there will be lands in this game this will be launch around march and it could be town cities uh, super the super ban farmland buried mine desert oasis wasted factory broken laboratory ruins and civil museum and when it comes to the token economics so this will be adopting a dual token system so they will have a governance token which is the map and then the utility currency circulating in the game will be the mmc so mmc will be very much like slp and, and this is important in repairing the armor refilling their health buying nfts in the marketplace and forging and you will be able to obtain that through the pve and pvp combat so it's more of like the rewards within the game the map or mape will be the governance token if you have it same with the other games so you will have the right to vote uh, on the proposals about the features how the players can share the revenue in the game so the more mape that you have so you will have more power within the metaverse so you will get this token by joining the create to earn process they are really looking at the endless possibilities within the game so if you will be able to suggest about this create to earn system um, they will be able to award this to the players especially if you will be creating contents in the form of art videos future plans or anything that the mecha morphing team finds useful in the future within the metaverse all right the white paper is very much detailed but i think it's also good before we end this video to go through the high level information so the game's a platform arpg so the art style is sexy realistic cyberpunk aesthetics of violence so if this is something that is your preference then the game is good for you the platform that they want to use are the browsers the pc and the mobile it will be a multi-chain adoption so the game system metaverse will have the pve which i explained briefly earlier and then the looting which we, we have also discussed the arena the bounty system as well they will also have the land where you can earn the resources you can use in forging trading source of revenue when you sell that in the marketplace they'll also have forging in order to improve the skills if you want to have the legendary items entities are the weapon the mecha and the character itself the mystery stone and the workshop and the land the complex strategy is that they are really envisioning multiple growth paths where they have this create to earn system as well within the game the long-term engagement where they, they want the players to be active within the game the better economic management where they look at a lot of uh, game mechanisms and activities within I, I think what we're only missing here is more information about the burning mechanisms because we only see about the game itself and the, the activities within so this is the perpetual playability so game assets are shared all different mini games one universal token so it will be mmc and enough content and depth to play 24 7. these are all of the features that will require the mmc token the roadmap so i, I think there are some changes here so wh what i've heard is that instead of having the main uh, game launch this february 2022 it will happen this coming march and they will have their uh, land NFT 
sale this March as well. They've completed the testnet launch, which is the browser game. It became the internal competition within the project. And then the other features that we've discussed earlier are here, plotted here. So we, we know how complex the project is. We, we know how challenging to have a VR system in this metaverse. So make sure that you also do your own research if you, we, we trust the, the team that will be working here. But from my side, at least we have some backers in terms of you know doing our research. We can see that their strategic partners are YGGC. We know that YGGC is a sister company of uh, YGG, I think. And then the Infinity Ventures Crypto, the Maven Capital. These are capitals that are familiar to me. And of course, the the MH Ventures that requested us to create this video. Uh, my experience is that projects that are partnering with venture capitals, of course, they are professional. They meet face to face, and you cannot easily, you know, dump your tokens or run or leave the project because you have this obligation to your investors that you need to deliver what you have agreed in your contracts. And here are the tokenomics. So here are the tokens, the MAPE and the MMC that we've also briefly discussed earlier. And then the MMC token. So these are the, the uses. And these are the tokenomics with their uh, vesting schedule. Wh what we can point out here is that the core team token, it will be 12 month cliff showing us that of course they want it to be a long term project. So the seed round 0% on TGE and then 3 month cliff but they will start to get their budget after the 3 months cliff. And then if they have any allocation for the strategic round and private round, they will get some budget for uh, oh, during the TGE. So we can see here that their Mecha Morphing Foundation will have 30% allocation and we don't know what are the details around this. It is Cliff and in the treasury including the marketing and airdrops. So maybe uh, there's a big possibility that this will be the main source of their fund for the, the game if they can get the fund out of this partition and the team behind this project they are, they are not fully doxxed they are animated and there are no links to their LinkedIn account but we can see that their backgrounds are promising in terms of their traditional uh, game experience and from the known universities so you can see it here in this slide so these are the other possessions that they have and of course based on our experience whether the dev team is doxxed or not they can you know as recent experience for example for the crypto cars right th there's still a rumor that it's already rug pull and they run that's why it's really important that we invest what we can afford to lose in the projects and we ensure that we operate based on our trust if the dev team we believe in them and if we think that the project is doable depending on what other factors that we're looking at so if you want to know more about this project then you can go to their social media accounts makeamorphing.com and then the twitter account telegram the discord and the medium so make sure that we are using the official account so that we can get the right information and we will not be scammed if based on this video you are interested to this game which has 100 million token supply so this is mecha morphing so i will put all of their official links in the description including this medium article about their ongoing ido whitelisting in polka starter so this is ongoing this is running from january 21 to february 1 you will do some task here related to the promotion campaign of Polka Starter and Mecha Morphing. Also, you need to hold like 250 uh, tokens of Polka Starter. And the price of the token for the public sale will be 20 pesos, 0 0.40 dollars per token. If you believe that you are seeing earning potential here, then you can join this whitelisting and get some MAPE tokens for the game. Hi guys, as promised, we're going to select 2 winners of USDT or 250 Gcash and this is part of our channel campaign wherein you just need to like, comment to the recent NFT game review that we are releasing. In this case, this is the link of the Block Monsters NFT review. And since the video is already long, so I've already prepared it here, removing the duplicate user and the replies. And 
getting the YouTube comments so we have 27 participants so this is a lot compared to other videos so thank you guys for the support so let's pick the winner our first winner is Junjun Tinka so he mentioned nice so congrats again I think this is your second time to win that and JC congratulations for having a nice very informative mukhang okay answer so thank you JC for the nice feedback and guys if you feel that our videos are helpful please click that subscribe button and including the notification button as well so that you will be updated for all upcoming videos that we will be uploading thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video bye bye